today I gonna demonstrate dynamic listing builder. In a dynamic listing builder, you can make a listing from any custom post type. There are different styles, different loops, you can create your own loops and much more other functionalities. Let's look into that. Here, you can you need to drag and drop dynamic listing widget which is available in the plus add-ons. First of all, there is option to show where you want to list out these things. So you have option for normal page, archive page or single page related post. These options are available because you can use that in dynamic functionality of Elementor Pro. For now, let's keep normal page. Once you select the normal page, you will have option to choose a post type. That means you can list out post pages and any of your other custom post types, even the products. After that, you have option for the styles. There are pre-built four styles and at the end you have custom skin option. For custom skin, we already made another video. You can check it out on our channel in which you can design your custom skin based on the loop something like this for this we have used feature um, image of post title of post and other fields from acf ports and toolset you need to have elementor for pro for this because it have a dynamic functions now let's get back to the dynamic listing if you select the style 1, you will see the different layout. Let's make one block from that. Let's add one section. You just need to search and drag and drop dynamic listing. And you will see these kind of posts. Like you can change the style if you want. something like this so let's go with the style one then I also want to show you that you have option to change the post types let's say we are selecting products those are coming from from the WooCommerce if some sometimes if you see this kind of overlapping that is because this grid is building if you face such issue you just need to change anything and once you come back to the default one, that problem will be resolved. Right? Now, let's make a title a bit smaller so you have a better idea. It's 14. And let's hide that accept and post meta. See. You can make a layout like this and this is not just for the products or post you can select many other like we are selecting a post type for all the team members so you will have this kind of layout just you can change the style from here after that you have option for the layout in which you can select the grid masonry metro or the carousel keep in mind the metro layout will not work with the custom skin because it have a different layout still you can try it out if you have put your image in a background it might work but still we we are not sure about metro layout in a custom skin after that you have option for the carousel first of all let's see the grid in a grid you have the content alignment option you have different style layouts now let's go to the content source in a content source you can select from any taxonomy that means you load here based on the category tag or based on your each and every custom post types category or their tags and you can put slug over here you can put multiple slug by comma like something like fast normal super you can use whatever taxonomy you want to use but with the comma 
we we have put just a dummy slugs over here that's why it wasn't working after that you can include or exclude post as per your needs you also have the option to display maximum post you also can offset some of your post then you have option for the order by from the like none id author title random and other you also can adjust them on a descending or ascending then you have options for the column manager in which you can select the columns for the desktop tablet and mobile then you have option for column gap or the space between that means if you want to change the space between them you can easily update that from here in extra options you first of all you have a SEO option that is title tag so you can adjust that then you can hide or hide feature image category of post even if you have category of post enabled right now we have team member that why that's why there is no category style available but if you have post you can turn it on and adjust your style then you can enable or disable content post meta and you also have the option for the filter something like this so this filter works with the post category you also have the stylings to adjust the filters then you have the filter alignment you also have options for the pagination load more and lazy load in a pagination you will have option for the typography their text color and everything you can see it over here then you have option for the load more this is the button and you will have option to its typography and colors border their color hover color box shadow every option is available over here then you have option for the lazy load that means it will keep on loading based on how you scroll and how much you scroll so these are the options are available here then in a style tab there is the option for the category post typography color and their hover colors their background colors box shadow padding such options are available for each and every part of design like title here is the content background, background settings, 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 I can select the modifier effect, none that can be there will be no effect, if you have selected style 1, it will zoom in like this, you can change the background as well, then there is the filter category, we have selected a filter, that's why there is the option for their inner painting, margin or their colors for the no, normal and hover condition, then you have option for the book a box loop background style that means you can adjust the padding around the box like this right you also have the box border option background option and box head options then in the extra options you have the messy column layout like if you want to change it you can put a margin over there so you can see let's keep third as it is and the fourth one with the more margin on the top so you can adjust the layouts like this after that you have option for the on scroll view animation we have made separate video for this functionality you can check it out on our youtube channel now we have shown you everything for the grid grid and masonry have same options in a metro you will have option to select the different styles if you select the metro there are two style layouts which you can choose to make it a different it's a taking a little bit more time because of the style loading but you can see there are two different styles after that there is the carousel option in a carousel you will see a new option available in a style tab with the carousel options where you can adjust slider mode to horizontal or vertical slider speed then you can adjust columns for the desktop tablet or the mobile you will have different column options for all the screen sizes as well as there is the option like next previous if you want to change on a next only one column you can select this or you can select all visible columns it will 
rotate whole section after that you have a slide padding you can enable draggable or infinite mode pose on hover adaptive height as well as you have animation type like withhold or continuous with that you have option for the autoplay dots even in the dots there are seven different styles with all the customization options you can adjust the padding above the top dots like this you can adjust the padding you also have option to show dots only on hover that means it will be invisible until you hover on that same options are available in the arrows as well you have multiple styles to choose from there are six styles available and all the customization options are available uh, its color and other things then you have option for the on hover arrows you also enable center mode this is the special feature which is not available in most of the carousel you know widgets so you can adjust the center padding this will give a amazing look to a each and every you know carousel of yours see you can adjust scale or shadow that will highlight your middle section like you can send you can scale up and scale down other slides this will help you to create more creative layouts in your carousel after that you have options for the number of rows so these are the options are available in the carousel mode Right. so dynamic listing will be useful for the normal page now if you are create if you are using elementor pro and cre creating any of your archive page page you just need to select this option and this widget automatic automatically get the archive page id and it will show all the posts according to archive page same for the single page related posts so these are the options available in a dynamic listing must check out our custom loop skin builders video in that we have discussed and so how you can make such a layouts thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video